Moving on to our last story. Although the scheme has been put on hold, Israel says it is still planning to annex 30% of the West Bank of Palestine. Some of you may not be familiar with the term annex. It's a technical term used by politicians and imperial countries when they don't want people to know they're saying the word steal. Here, try this on for size. Israel plans to steal 30% of the West Bank. See how much less fun that sounds? It almost sounds rude. Like, like, like when someone takes the last melon ball at a party when you were standing in line clearly anticipating a cool, refreshing sphere of melon. Honey do, more like honey don't. Cantaloupe, more like can't. Oh, that's still cantaloupe. Still cantaloupe on that one. But when you really look at the history, it's not like Israel is stealing part of the West Bank. They are just taking back the land they rightfully stole years ago. They have graciously allowed Palestinians to live on some of that land with kindly Israeli military scouts roaming the streets in order to check for criminal activity like standing in one's own yard without a license or flagrantly being Palestinian. It's not like Israel isn't good to the Palestinians. In some parts of Palestine, Israel allows them to have electricity for a whopping four hours a day. I mean, they're overflowing with the stuff. They could run a blender, a computer, a vibrator, and a second vibrator for hour with that much electricity if they were allowed to import those devices by Israel, which they are not. Plus, 50% of the population of Palestine is under 18, meaning they're mostly children. Children don't need as much electricity. And they drink less water than adults, too, which is also good because Israel doesn't let them have much of that either. I mean, we wouldn't want them getting water fat now, would we? Palestine is often called an open-air prison. So there you have it. Open air. Doesn't that sound nice? I know a lot of people in prison who would give anything for an open-air prison.